So I often tell students that you can do lots and lots and lots of things with Excel, and I don't want that to be limited to just the basic business stuff we do. So I want to talk a little bit today about things like if you want to do animation in Excel. So this is something I built. Um, this is going to be something for grading this semester as you get points. Uh, you can just put your points into A1, add them all up, uh, and this little guy is going to climb the mountain, and this is based off of a game that was played on Price is Right when I was a kid, um, is kind of the idea. So anyway, if you get, you know, as you accumulate points throughout the semester, you know, say you have 50 points put in there, nothing happens, but as you get further, so 100 points, now the mountain climber starts moving up the mountain, okay? You know, you get 200 points, now he gets a little half. As you get further along, you know, or like 500, he has a walking stick. Uh, you know, the walking stick kind of moves as he walks. We can like jump over pits and things like that, etc. And if you get all the way up to say, oh, uh, let's see, you have to get at least a C minus. Um, so 700 of the thousand points possible to pass the class if you're a business student. So it tells you that you pass when you hit that threshold. Um, and it goes all the way up to anything above 930, which is where you get an A in the class. Uh, and also, if you would like to uh, hear um, the music from... So anyway, I want to I want to play around with this idea, kind of show you how you can do some simple things like this uh, in an Excel environment. Now you see I'm zoomed way out. I'm only showing 20% uh, zoom, so I've made everything real small over here, basically. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move this over to a new sheet, uh, and I'm gonna kind of show you how I build something like this out. Uh, so we're just gonna take a chunk of the mountain climber here. Um, Probably, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to move it over to a new sheet. And just paste it for now, and you'll see it gets real distorted. Uh, over here, I've kind of made sure everything was lined out the way I wanted. So, um, you can mess with a couple things. Uh, the main thing I did here, I believe, the first thing I did was highlight a bunch of the cells, right click, and go to column width. And I actually made the columns really close together um, and hit OK. So it looks a little bit more normal. But you can play with column width um, and height of rows a little bit to get it into the shape you want. And eight's probably not good. That doesn't look very good. Um, but anyway, you can kind of mess with this until you get what you want. So let's say this is the guy I want. Um, so how I built this guy originally um, is you'll see uh, now they all say equals A1. So this is how um, I built it originally is uh, I actually mocked it out. So if I take this down to here, I just kind of mocked out what my guy would look like by doing this and just filling it. So I just kind of built a little guy like this. Gave him a little eyeball, filled it a different color. So, I mean, originally that's what I did. Is I, I built a little guy like this. Um, and he ends up looking like this. And then what I do is I go back into where I filled all this stuff and I hit equals and A and 1. So I lock it. Not an exclamation like that. And then I just copy and you can paste it wherever you want it. Okay. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay, so that's how I originally built it. You'll see the end version ended up not looking like this. But anyway, you just put and equals uh, dollar sign a dollar sign one in each space that you want to be a color. And then um, I'm going to take all the lettering out and kind of play with it to make it look like this. And then I'll show you how to kind of replicate it for 
So I'm going to delete those for now uh, and not fill them. And I'm going to put this back uh, the way I want. So anyway, I've done this all through conditional formatting. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually clear all of the conditional formatting from here. And we'll start over so I can show you um, how I how I converted them from those equal A1s um, into something. So the A1s are still there, equals A1. Uh, and there's really nothing in A1 right now, so I'm just going to put a 1 there. Um, but what I can do is... Actually, I better highlight this first. Huh? I can do that. So I'm going to highlight these. So I'm going to hold control. So we only highlight the cells we want. So I'm holding control down as I click and drag. Condition formatting. Rules. Here from selected cells. And then I'm going to re. Okay, so this is what we had originally. Formatting, clear rules, clear selected cell, and fill this whole box. Okay, so this is what it looked like originally, uh, except that also my uh, font would have originally been black. Okay, um, and I'll show you why we end up changing the font color as well. But anyway, I start here, and then as I change A1, you'll see that it's going to feed that number down into uh, my person here. Okay. And so what I want to do is then I just create a rule. I'm going to highlight all of these by holding control and clicking. You'll see the first one takes a little work. It gets a little easier as we go, but you do have to redo this. A bunch. So anyway, I just go into conditional formatting. We have these highlight cell rules. I'm going to put, uh, for now, a less than rule. So if I'm going to put uh, format cells that are less than 50. And you'll see they just fill red. Um, and I'm going to drop this down. I actually want to custom format it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that green color like I was building them with. And then I'm going to go to font and I'm going to give it the same green color. Okay. And so if you make the font the same color as the fill, now the it says equals A1, but the one, the little one that was there. So if I go back, these little ones that are in there, they go away. They're still there, but they're the same color as the fill. So they just blend in. And then same thing here, I want a conditional format, highlight cell rule, less than 50, custom format, font black, fill black. Okay. Okay, so that's the first step. So now I have my little guy. Problem is, if I get to 50 or higher, on, I need to get rid of the original. Uh, once you do that, you also need to go here and say no fill. Okay, so then once you hit 50, what you'll see is all these show up again because the conditional formatting goes away. So the other thing you want to do is highlight all of this and make the font white. Okay, so that once we hit 50, that first little guy is going to go away. But anything below 50 is going to stay. Okay. And then what I can do is I can replicate this up and just change those conditional formatting rules. So if I copy this whole little guy and I want to move him up here somewhere, I'm just going to pick a spot and paste him. Let's put him one down, control Z, go down one and paste again. There now his foot is on the mountain. Okay. And I built the mountain just using borders. So um, you can kind of do that how you want, but I just kind of randomly did the borders. So now I have two little guys. Um, and all I have to do is on this second guy is change these rules. So I'm going to go up here, do the same thing, hold control down and click all of the green spaces. You can actually do them all together, although. Um, so actually I can include the black, yeah, there we go. Conditional formatting. Manage rules, and you'll see that those two rules that we created are there. So the rule for the black eye and the rule for the green guy are both there. All I have to do is go in and edit this rule. And instead of less than 50, now I'm going to make 
this second guy show up when it's between 50 and say 99. Okay. Same thing here, edit rule. Instead of less than, now I want between 50 and 99. Okay. I hit apply and I hit OK. And now you see that guy disappears. But when I hit 50, now the first guy will disappear and he's moved up the mountain. And then if you just want to, if you want to add effects, so like I added a little walking stick to the guy, I can just copy the eye. I can paste it up and down. So I can mod I can now modify, you know, if I, when I made him jump, I actually uh, delete the A1 off of here, here, and then I can just copy one of the green cells and paste it out like this. Oh, ooh, that was fun. So you can just copy paste um, the one green cell and put anything you want. Okay, and the more colors you add, each color basically just needs its own conditional formatting rule. But that's the idea, and then as you move the numbers, like I said, then the, the climber goes up the mountain. Uh, when I'm at 7.30, boom, I'm here. I can see that you have a C in the class. Because um, I, I build these little conditionals in as we go and things like that. I can embed stuff. I can do a lot of stuff. So anyway, as you move up the mountain, it'll tell you where you're at. So this is just one simple um, uh, look at how to do some sort of animation in Excel. Uh, and like I said, Excel can do most things. So um, if, you, if you ever want to do anything, just kind of think through it. You can do a lot of stuff. This is just one of the things you can do with um, some like conditional formatting.